Good morning, everybody. Um, today I'm just doing another <laughs> test pour on these different glues that I've been trying to get nice results from. So I'm going to do, this is an A4 size piece of recycled card um, that I buy off eBay for test pours and you can, if you like the painting that you end up with, you can obviously um, put them in a frame or whatever. But anyway, so today is this Onco, which I get from, which I bought from Kmart. So it's 250 mils and it was $2. I think it was $2 or maybe $2.50. So I had done a little test pour and it came out not too bad. So I'm just trying again. This is basically for the Australian pourers and maybe New Zealand that can't get alt of Elmer's glue oil from the US because um, it's very expensive for us to get. It's quite hard to get now. So I'm just been practicing or experimenting on different glues. So this is the Kmart glue. So we'll see what we can achieve again with the Kmart glue on a little bit bigger area than I did last time. So I'll just put the trusty old gloves on. Oh my goodness. I'm picking paint up from somewhere. I don't know where I'm getting it from. Uh, it must be on my Okay, so what I did with this was I made a, um, a jug up of the, I poured the whole 250, 250 um, mils of the Kmart um, glue into my jug and I, I, I uh, well I've used it all up now but I just added water slowly, this is, this is, I just added water slowly to it until it became consistency of like pouring cream so and I made that up yesterday and I and I um, made my paints up as I usually do yesterday so I just put about ooh, it would have been about centimeter and a half I don't weigh things sorry I just don't and I don't want to go that way I just put about a centimeter and a half of paint in the bottom of my cup and I just slowly added that Premix of the Kmart glue and water. It's premixed slowly into it and stirring until I got the consistency. This is kind of like pouring cream. Just leaves when you do a circle. Just leaves a little trace for a second or two. This might be on the thin side if you were doing a um, um, a dirty cup pour. But this should be okay for my swipe. Now my husband just arrives in the truck. <laughs> I don't have much luck. Anyway, so today I've got the green light. These are all with the global paints. That's the red, that's the purple, just white and blue. It was cobalt blue. Um, so today I'm just doing these colours and I might, I have got a little bit of yellow left over there that I did the smaller one with so I'm going to maybe swipe with the yellow. So we'll see how we go anyway with this Kmart glue. So obviously this would be a lot easier for Australian pourers to get hold of um, if it works similar or better than the um, Elmer's glue oil. To cry out to Elmer's in America, please send us some of your glue over. Send it to my home and I'll distribute it. <laughs> okay, so that was the green light. I'm going with the red. Just doing what I would normally do because I just want to see. I'm obviously trying to see if it all works when I do my normal that I like to do. And I like to do this particular style because it still comes out looking different every single time. So, okay. Might not go too much on the purple. So, this is... She says, said, said, said. Okay. Um, I'll just do the blue in a bit of 
So it's a cobalt blue. As I said, then you always get lovely different results that don't look the same because you've never laid it on your canvas the same. So that's why I particularly like doing this kind of thing because it comes out different every time. Oh, okay. Just give it a tilt so it completely covers the canvas. This is probably a little, I've probably made this up a little bit runnier than I would do the Elmer's glue. So maybe next time I need to try a thicker mix. But I'm just trying different tech ways with it to see if I can get it to play nicely and um, dry nicely like the Elmer's glue does. So again, when you're tilting, always try to recenter your paint back so you haven't got it all down one end. So I'll just give my hands a wipe off. Double check that my movie's still running. Yep, we're all good. Okay, so now I will get this yellow. This was made up of the Kmart glue too, but I'd used it in a previous test pour. So I'll give it a go with a swipe down the centre with the yellow. Um, actually, I don't think that yellow was the Kmart glue. I think the yellow I made up with the Hellmars. So <laughs> I probably should have tested it all with the one glue, but anyway, that's fine. It still was an Australia uh, one. Hellmars is still easy to get in Australia, well it's Australian made, uh, easy to get in Australia, you can actually get it in the US as well, so I was, oh look at that, sells straight away, that's promising, very promising. Uh, oh that's, um, yeah that's promising. It's, it's what the cell shapes actually turn out to look like that's going to be the thing that sways me away from the Elmers. Um, okay. Yeah, the cell shapes do look a little odd um, than what I would normally get like with Elmers, I get the cells within cells and get a whole story told on the canvas. But they're coming up nicely, so let's give you a peek at this before I torch it. You see the cells coming up nicely? So it's had no heat on it or anything at this point. Um, but the cells are still coming up nicely, so get the trusty heat gun and see what it comes up. So, of course, I use the butane. You get the butane gas bottle from any camping or hardware, and I buy the top ignition off eBay, less than $10, self-igniting. Okay. This is a pretty fierce one. I do like my other one that's not as fierce, so only... I'm just trying to see if I can get my jelly clusters with this particular glue. See, with Elmer's, when I do this, it comes up in a complete circle, like a ring straight away. With this particular glue, it is selling. They are coming up, but they're not coming up in clusters. So that might be the dip. Not that that matters, but I know so many people ask me, hey, I'm doing everything you do and I'm not getting the clusters. Well, this might be why, because you're not using Elmer's glue and water and the same kind of paints that I'm using, which mostly using global paints, um, but I have done a lot of work with the Montmart um, Studio Acrylics, which are really nice, and a lot of the Chroma, a2 this is really nice paint very highly pigmented so when you actually make this paint up you need very little paint um, 
to make up quite a lot because it's so highly pigmented and very thick and creamy. And of course I do like the, the Byron. The Byron is a bit in the fact that sometimes you open the Byron and it's very thick and creamy and then other times it runs straight out of the bottle. So a little bit inconsistent, but having a word with the supplier about that, that'll talk to the paint company. But ultimately, that's why I don't like giving ounces and grams or measurements because you never, whatever paints you're using, they're never going to be the same amount. If I tell you to add 20 mils or 50 grams to something of your paint, it, it probably wouldn't work the same. So I'm just tell you on the texture. I'm just going to give that. Well, you've seen, okay, seen that it's come up and it's come up in like little cell bubbles. So not like my Elmer's glue at all. It's reacted completely different. But it's not nasty. It's okay. Um, you kind of get in champagne bubbles in this, smaller bubbles, and lots of people may like that. I'm going to give a balloon kiss and see how it reacts with that. So, ooh, that's nice. That's, that's come out quite nicely, actually. Obviously, with a balloon kiss, if you've got lots of paint on it, it is best to leave your canvas for at least, you know, 30, 40 minutes, come back and try. If you've got loads of paint on there, all of your balloon kiss will fall back in. Sometimes it is nice to go along with your balloon at the beginning because you won't actually get a balloon kiss, you'll get a look. Oh, I'll try and show you this other one I did. I'm just, just, this was balloon kissed, but it behaved, because it was too runny when I did it, it all moved and um, created a whole life of its own. So don't actually look like balloon kissing they've sort of um, yeah, created a whole different look. So that's, that's you know, if you do balloon kissing and you don't actually want the, the sort of petal shapes, to do it when it's wet can make you, your paint move in a different manner, so, uh, which is still quite nice. So this is not too bad with the balloon kissing, not too bad. So it's just gently pressing your balloon in and you can do a bit of a roll, as I've done before. Your balloon roll is, you can start and roll it just gently off your canvas. And then all your paint will fall back in. If it doesn't fall back in nicely how you like, you just pick up some paint from elsewhere and pop it back there. So, balloon kissing uh, it's quite an okay um, glue to do for the balloon kissing. So I'm going to leave that to dry a bit and, um, and then I'll let you guys make up your mind about whether you would, the Australian pourers use it here. I'll give you a bit of a close up. So I'll bring it up, see what you think. There you go. I mean, this is nice and vibrant um, because of the colors. So that's what I was trying to do, some nice bright colors to bring it all out, see, see what we get out of that particular glue. So there's gonna be a lot, a lot of Australian ladies going off and buying all the paint. <laughs> I mean, sorry, all the glue in Kmart now, because it is cheap, I suppose. But uh, if you buy, yeah, in a, what is it, four, or four liters, it would still turn out to be about $40. Um, still cheaper than the Gloom uh, Elmer's, but not as cheap as like uh, Bunnings glue. So I'll just give you a bit of a close up. Oh, okay. So it's very vibrant. And the actual colours looking down on the canvas and looking in this lens, the colours are more vibrant than it looks through the. Um, lens of this camera okay I'll leave it with you and see what you think but when I put it up please let me know what you think of this particular brand of glue the Kmart glue 
Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. It's free.